for the first time in history on Sunday, April 7th, 2019. Three women will headline WrestleMania 35 in a unification match for the Raw and SmackDown's Women's Championship. Today, I will give you four reasons why Becky Lynch should walk away from WrestleMania 35 as the first women's unified champion right after this intro. The number four reason Becky Lynch should walk away from the WrestleMania 35 as the first unified women's champion is because of Becky Lynch's huge meteoric rise from being a sweet, innocent little wrestler to the man that we see in the ring today. So if we sit back and look over this last year and I mean, just the not even the last year, hell, what, nine months, if that the. The absolute build of Becky Lynch to where we see her now, man, she is not only a draw, she is not only loved in the fans' eyes, but what better way to prove to us that the refresh restart is real by putting the strap on Becky Lynch. The number three reason Becky Lynch should walk away from WrestleMania 35, the first ever unified women's champion, is because it's a perfect way to build for the future. Just think, man, if you have Becky Lynch submitting Charlotte Flair so Ronda is never pinned and still remains undefeated, this could only continue to build the hype towards WrestleMania 35. And not only that, it would be organically built in the WWE we wouldn't have to put much into it so with that being said i think this is the perfect way to set up your second ever women's headliner becky lynch versus ronda rousey in the first ever hell in a cell women's match well second ever i guess now but with that being said let's move on to number two the number two reason becky lynch should walk away as the first ever unified women's champion is because this would be the perfect way to give Ronda the perfect heel turn. So in the past, I thought you should use the Becky Lynch, the man role as being Stone Cold Becky Lynch with Charlotte Flair being the rock, being the corporate rock. I think you could actually do this with Ronda Rousey, with Ronda Rousey actually having doubt wrestled Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, that possibly Becky could be the one to end the undefeated streak, and Ronda could never possibly get her title match to get that belt back. You could have Ronda team up with the corporation or with the authority only to continue to build your organic storyline towards WrestleMania 35. Ronda Rousey and the authority versus Stone Cold Becky Lynch, a.k.a. The Man. And the number one reason Becky Lynch should walk away, the unified women's champion after WrestleMania 35 is giving the WWE Universe what they truly want. So a lot of us out there since uh, Ashka had some crazy loss to Charlotte Flair, feel Charlotte Flair is handed everything. And maybe to a little degree, Ronda Rousey has been handed a lot. In us, as the WWE Universe, are clamoring for a true champion by the name of The Man. So why don't you truly show us that the restart refresh is really going to happen? And that everybody has to earn their keep. Put the strap on The Man and let's start the reign of the greatest women's champion ever. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to catch our NXT review a little later tonight. And don't forget to catch us live Sunday, April 7th, 315 Mountain Time, 515 Eastern. Oh, my God, it's mania season. Can you smell it? But with that being said, guys, as always, take names, kick ass, and peace.